and once again, good evening YouTube, and welcome back to the Top Cuts Games channel, and welcome back to the conclusion of the Need for Speed Carbon um, Challenge Series. Last time we did the hardest challenge, which was the Canyon Drift. Um, we've got one more drift to go, <laughs> and a few races, but um, this, is, this is basically it. This is going to basically be the end. And this is just pretty much going to be a victory lap, I'm assuming, because it is supposed to be the gold challenges, which are supposed to be the hard ones, but it feels not hard in the slightest, actually. I feel like this is pretty easy. <laughs> um, the lighting in this room is going to be constantly changing because we're just going through, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with the lighting, I'll be honest, but um, this should be fun to edit, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, oh nice, we're in the Fastback Mustang. Okay, let's get, let's get rolling. Okay, so two laps around whatever track this is. Um, I think this is probably the best way that we could have done this, is having to uh, run these races in a fresh session so that um, I'm not you know, on top of my game at the start, and we're just, we're just killing it the entire time. I say this as I am up to third, and that is the environment coming down in front of me. That's a very good pursuit breaker, because you can use it in races, and it's very helpful in slowing people down behind you. It's a good pursuit breaker, and it's almost unavoidable, too. Even better. Uh-oh, that is a van. Somehow I managed to avoid, you know, I managed to, there's just one singular obstacle on this road, and I managed to just drive directly into it. Just half, half, half asleep, just driving right into stuff. And I've noticed that for some reason, these guys aren't taking shortcuts. Do they not take shortcuts in career mode either? I don't think there's been a single time that one of my opponents in one of these races has taken a shortcut. Like, what are they actually doing? Oh, well, I didn't even mean to take this shortcut yet. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> that's a confusing one, too. That might actually be one of the only shortcuts in this game that's actually worse than just taking the regular route. Because there's just an absolute shit ton of shortcuts in this racetrack. See, I think there's one right there, too, dude. We are at an inherent disadvantage, though, because the, these are, uh, I'm driving a muscle car, so it's automatically drives worse than, okay, thank you, God, why is it the same thing every single time? I can win all of these races effortlessly, but if these people, if these pedestrian cars could signal, if they could just signal, we would be in so much better shape, I'd be unstoppable. I would be literally unstoppable. Oh my god, these guys can't avoid the traffic either though, at least. At least they also just careen directly into the traffic on the same exact token as me. I mean, how do you avoid it? There's just, they're just everywhere and I just actively tried to go around the, the shortcut. Damn, dude. I'm just, I'm just doing terrible. This race has been awful. I'm driving like shit, man. And yet here we are, still winning. What does that say? What does this... This says so much about society. I've been using that line way too often. It was funny the first time, now it's getting old. Oh my... It's game. This game. How did I ever do bad? Is my question. This is supposed to be the hard challenge, by the way. This is the hard difficulty. Gold status. This is the supreme difficultness. I mean, it does help that they automatically gave me the car. They could have given me a car that was that an inherent disadvantage to everyone else. They could have done that. Well, I mean, it, it is, because it's a muscle car, so it's going to drive like ass. But we're still just annihilating these guys. This was easier than some of the silver races. Well, <laughs> there's that race done. Good stuff. And also it's easier because there's no, um, there's no police officers in this, uh, in these races. There hasn't been a single police officer chase during any of these, uh, of the actual race races. Like, that's cool. That helps. I mean, it really doesn't matter, honestly. 
it really doesn't matter, you know? It's only annoying in career mode where you have to deal with the police after the race. If only I knew that you could restart races after finishing them, and that would automatically just get rid of the police, and then you can quit the race and it still counts. I did not know that. That is something I discovered after both the Most Wanted and Carbon playthroughs. But isn't that just a little bit... That, that feels unfair. Like, that would make the game too easy. Oh yeah, perfect launch. And we're driving a car that doesn't suck, so this should be an easy race. This should be easier than the last one. Dude, and that was an easy race, man. That was an easy race. Oh god, I cannot see where I'm going. Okay. Okay, we're at a big disadvantage. This man is three seconds ahead of me. How did that happen? I don't know. Let's try and reel him in. Let's take the shortcut. Let's take the shortcut. And I do enjoy how there's like ten cars in this race, but, you know, there's really only one person who's actual competition here. The field fillers. See, some of those guys are still back at the start. Thirteen seconds back is eighth place. We literally, has thirteen seconds even passed? And we're already this far ahead of this man. Come on, man. Come on. Man. You know, I'm rendering a part of this this series right now as I'm recording. I see it flashing by on the computer over there to the, to the right. It would be your left. Whatever. Um, damn, this race is almost over. Oh, 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 oh. That's just interesting, you know? There really wasn't anything beyond that. That's kind of where the thought came to an end. Alright, I need to save all my boost for this final corner. Here we go. Oh, weaving through the traffic. Alright, well that was fun. Damn, what a race. What a race. That was a minute and a half. You finished first! It's gonna take longer to save than actually doing the race. I don't like how it shows the date on here though. That's annoying. This probably isn't going to be uploaded until next year and now you're saying, oh, he recorded this in November of 2022. He recorded this the day after Ty Gibbs won the championship and the day before Chase Elliott won the cup championship. <laughs> I already know it. I already know. I should just put, I should put all my money on it. Well, I was going to put all my money on it, but I think he's actually the favorite to win the championship so I wouldn't actually win anything. Oh my god, we're doing a drift in a muscle car. Oh, the fucking... Oh, the thought of it. Oh, 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 it's so bad. It's so bad. I have forgotten how horrendous the drift engine is in this game. Oh. Okay, I think we're doing good. Oh, it sure doesn't feel like we're doing good. Uh, no, well, I, I, I'm right there with them. I'm right there with him. I'll learn how to drift in a minute here. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll be good at this again in a minute. All right. All right. All right. Okay. There we go. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, I'm still third. We are a few points back. Oh, that's not how physics work, I'm afraid. Okay, this is two laps. I really need to not suck. Oh, it's so weird, dude. I cannot put into words how awkward this drifting physics engine is. It's just, it's just whatever you would expect a car to do in a drifting game, in a drifting minigame. Like, all the drifting minigames that I've done over the course of my gaming career, this is the one that is the least like all the others. Like, I just don't understand. Ah, oh, fuck off, I did not hit the cunt wall, you stupid bitch. Like, you, you would imagine that the car is gonna, you know, slide. You know, you're gonna be, like, not in, you know, as much control as you would be, you know, just driving normally. It stopped the drift! It's fucking, it's just sat there on that amount of money. Amount of money, amount of points. It just sat there for an hour and a half on the canyon when I wanted it to stop, but... Why? Why does it stop? Why does it stop? This is literally not hard. This is not even hard. And it's just fucking me. That's just, that's just the name of the game. Need for Speed Carbon, more like Need for Speed Go Fuck Yourself. 
Yeah, and it did it again. Thank you. Thank you so much for ending the drifts. It, the instantaneous goddamn second that I stopped sliding. I'm so glad that you did that for the entirety of the fucking c c canyon one. Stupid, awful garbage. I hate this drifting engine. It's... I, I hate drifting in Need for Speed. Period. But this is the worst. This is the absolute worst offender. And you know what? Drifting in Need for Speed 2015? I'm going back to Need for Speed 2015. I have not... I have not read any comments on the Need for Speed Underground 2 rant. Because I haven't uploaded it yet. So your fucking, uh... Your comments are falling on deaf ears. Deaf ears is where your, uh... Your anger and salt is falling on, comment section. You can just cry about it. No, but drifting in Need for Speed 2015, the car actually responds. It does what you would expect it to do in, a game, in, a, in an actual real drifting physics engine. It actually feels like normal-ish. Feels like every other game in any case. I don't know, maybe this is how it would be, maybe, maybe every other game is wrong. Wouldn't that be something if every other game ever made with drifting was the wrong one? And as it turns out, Need for Speed Carbon was the one that got drifting right from the beginning. Wouldn't that be a fucking laugh? Anyway, I finally learned how to do this, so, eh, never mind. Never fucking mind. Oh, eat my fucking ass. You cunt. Bitch. Whore. God, this sucks. Yeah, I'm about to be 100,000 points back because it can't fucking count a drift for more than two seconds. Okay, it's lap two and I'm eating shit. Please just count the points. Quit bitching at me. Okay, this is the worst. This is the absolute worst. I've played some bad games in my day. But this, this is up there. How am I still in the lead? I'm not going to be for long. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm about to lose. Oh, and the camera's just doing whatever it wants, too. To top it all off, the camera's just like, I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want. I don't really like how the Bernie Sanders voice has automatically been my go-to for stupid, stupid person, what, stupid person speak. I'm sure I've had other voices for stupid person that aren't Bernie Sanders. But, um, oh, that was 140,000. That's just a, that's just a sweet 150,000 points for that drift. Nothing going on there, you know. And it doesn't count any fucking points there. Yeah, get a nice 140,000 points for the previous one, and then just go through the next section and get fucking 2,000. Yeah, thanks. Alright, there we go. Well, there's that. That should not have taken as, as nearly as long as it took, but I think we might just get all of this in one episode. Drift Pro, thanks. That's... That feels more condescending than anything, getting that award after that. Oh. Okay. Next, it's a speed trap, I'm pretty sure, is the next event. Yep, we got two races to go. Yeah, something tells me that this is going to all be one episode. <laughs> hey, it's the half an hour final episode of a series that I always do. Good stuff, my favorite. The last race is probably going to be ten minutes alone, so... There's where the half an hour kicks in. I probably can predict the exact length of this video. 31 minutes and 43 seconds is going to be the exact length of this video. That's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to be! Anyway, uh, we're doing this race. It is a speed trap, so that means I don't even need to win. But I probably will win because this game is easy. And they are wrecking themselves back there. Speaking of going fast, here we go. Speaking of going fast and winning, I am ahead by nothing. I am literally tied, and I am not winning. Okay. Okay. That's good. I'm glad I'm not winning. As a matter of fact, I would much rather just sit here and continue, you know, playing this game forever. Race forever, if you will. All right. Now we're leading. Oh, now we got the... We are making time and doing the speed. 
and I can't drive this car. Get the pace, hit the wall, max speed into the speed thing. You know, they really weren't thinking when they put the speed traps where they did because the AI will slow down for the corners even though it needs to go fast for the speed, speed traps. But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna body slam into the wall at full speed. But the AI won't. See, that guy had to slow down for the traffic. He probably just, that's, that's probably just solidified the fact that he ain't winning. Oh, the outro's being rendered right now. I just saw a giant flash, and I'm like, what's going on over there? No, it's just my outro. I like my outro. People say that it's not nearly as good as the Gimme Gimme Shock treatment one, but I love Mops. Mops is fantastic. I should, I should put, uh, I should start putting my own music as the outro. Yep, there's, a uh, Tommy Wiseau. Ya tell me pot, Lisa. Well, that race is over. <laughs> Might have overestimated the 31 minutes and 43 seconds estimation. Cannonball. Speed Demon. I got two reward cards for doing that? Dude, that's sick. I wonder what I've all unlocked after finishing the, uh... Oh, what's, whatever it's called. Challenge series here. We got one more event. Damn, dude. This is gonna be like five episodes. <laughs> Yeah, forget about, like, the two months, the three or so months of content that I got with Most Wanted's Challenge series. This shit's pro- I'm probably gonna be able to fit all of this into the goddamn, um, um, the, uh, updated two seconds of all my videos video <laughs> that I'm gonna be doing for the 10th anniversary of the channel. I could probably talk about that at this point. Yeah, 10th anniversary of the channel, dude. It's been- it's been wild. I've been planning the 10th anniversary of this channel for like the past five years. <laughs> hey, we're finishing it off in a green Dodge Challenger. Based. I've been, there's, there's, on uh, I, I just recently found out that Challengers come in all wheel drive and I'm kind of like, you know what? I really like my Charger, but an all wheel drive Dodge Challenger? You had my interest, but now you have my attention. Three laps for this long track. So, I've already discussed how Need for Speed Most Wanted is better than this game and better than Need for Speed Underground 2. But like, for what this game is, it's fine. I definitely played Most Wanted way more than I played this, for good reason. Most Wanted is a better game than this. It's not a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. I always really got defensive whenever I saw people say that Need for Speed went downhill after when what Carbon came out. It's like, first of all, this is pretty much a very similar game. This is just Need for Speed Most Wanted, but worse. This is just the light version of Need for Speed Most Wanted. If you've played Need for Speed Most Wanted, you don't really need to play this. And like, the defensive races are the absolute worst. Like, if this game did not have defensive races, I would rate it a lot higher, but I just, the, the, the defensive races are just suffering. Just pure, unadulterated suffering, it's the worst. But beyond that, this is a fine game. You know, it's not groundbreaking. The auto sculpt is really cool. I like the auto sculpt, but that does, that is not, that alone cannot carry this. The police chases are completely pointless. The defensive races are fucking annoying. The challenge series is way shorter. Like, I think a short challenge series is better than, you know, 36 time trials. But, um, yeah. I'm alright with this, this game's existence. It's just not as good as Most Wanted. But it's still better than Most Wanted 2012. It's still better than Underground 2. It's still better than Hot Pursuit to both versions come at me. Both fucking versions come at me. Um, no, there wasn't a Hot Pursuit 2. It was Hot Pursuit 2010. There wasn't a Hot Pursuit 2 that came after 2010. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is that the golden era of Need for Speed ended with this game, but it's still a solid game. A solid game nonetheless. I enjoyed it.
Um, I am disappointed with the story, though. Like, I, I know I was ragging on Underground 2 for having a terrible story, but, like, this game is just Need for Speed Most Wanted again, but worse, because Cross is barely in it, first of all, and it's really stupid. Like, this guy that we have never heard of before today was actually the a guy orchestrating everything from the start, and he's the one that gave us the M3, and he's the one that gave us a car to do the race and then he and then he let us win the race but 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 and arrested everyone else but he screwed us over and it's like what it's just kind of stupid and then the prostitute in this game is way worse than Mia Mia's a far more interesting character how she's like she's like the inverse of Darius who, like, is trying to screw us over from the very beginning when he has really no reason to. But Mia helps us out from the beginning when she has every reason to screw us over because she's a, she's a cop, right? She has no reason to help us out, but she thinks that, you know, if I can beat all the blacklist and, like, take their cars and pink slips and stuff, then that stops the... Um, that ends the blacklist, and she gets to take all the credit for their arrests and stuff, and she moves up in the ranks. What I think would have been really cool would be, like, Mia returning in this game as, like, a, as like the new Cross. That would have been way more interesting, is if Cross showed up and, like, he's trying to chase us down and whatever, but then, like, at the end of the game, like, instead of just it ending after the canyons, we could have another five-minute pursuit where Mia shows up and she's like, hey, uh, hey, like, nothing personal. Nothing personal, kid. And then we get to do like a a pursuit on like heat level eight or something. That'd be cool. Heat level eight would be fun. But um, then we get to have like I don't think there's a helicopter in this game, which is good. That's fucking good. But uh, that'd have been fun. And yeah, we could have like a police chase through the canyon. Oh, that would have been sick. Have a police pursuit through the canyon, kind of like the chase with Cross, but like with other officers and their spawning officers and roadblocks. And like the officers could fall off the edge of the cliff. Oh, that would have been sick. That would have been sick. To have the final pursuit and we're just driving out. Like we pick up Nikki or whatever, or we drive Nikki's car or something. Or like with Darius's Audi R8. There we go. We just drive Darius's Audi R8 through the canyon, getting chased by Mia in her RX-8, but it has like a new police officer paint scheme. Oh, that would have been sick. Oh, that would have been sick. That would have been awesome. And then like at the very end, she like crashes out of the canyon and it's implying she died or something, but we're with Nikki now, so it's fine, even though Mia's a way better waifu. Anyway, we just won the game. We just won the challenge mode. Dude, that's fucking sick. I just came up with that. I just came up with that. And that's way better than the ending of this game, where Darius is just like, Oh yeah, you beat me, someone's always gonna be better than you, And then he just fucking drives away, it's just like nothing, gets absolutely no comeuppance. He just fucking drives away, it's like... Razor gets fucking arrested, that's satisfying in, in, in Most Wanted. In this game, Darius just leaves. He's just like, you won, I hate you, but you won, bye, and then he leaves. <laughs> Garbage. My idea is way better. Anyway, we just won the challenge series. So let's take a look at the reward cards. So I've got barely any of them. <laughs> I need to disarm a police vehicle. I haven't even disarmed a police vehicle while in career free roam. I have not done that. What a game, ladies and gentlemen. It's Need for Speed Carmen. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing this stuff. <laughs> Mm. Anyway, so this has been Need for Speed Carbon's uh, challenge series. This was way less interesting than the most wanted ones, but at least I came up with something really cool at the very end. We did not meet the 31 minutes and 41 seconds threshold. Maybe I'll artificially lengthen this experience with like a meme at the end of this video, but... Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Carbon. This is definitely, this is definitely the way to end the Carbon playthrough, just with, just like a wet fart, kind of. But, um, have I been recording? Okay, good.
I was worried I wasn't recording there for a second. But, uh, yeah. So, thank you all so much for watching. Um, Need for Speed will probably still exist on this channel. I still haven't decided what I'm going to play next, but I've got a pretty good idea. Um, yeah. So, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in whatever comes next. I, I, I just... I did everything that I could to avoid getting police chases in the career mode. That's justified. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in whatever I do next. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh, God damn it! Okay, okay. See, I know how to walk, don't worry. Okay, okay. My goodness gracious! Would you look at that? It's Samuel L. Jackson! That is correct. My name is Samuel L. Jackson. As you can plainly see, I am Samuel L. Jackson. It's obvious, come on. The resemblance is uncanny, wouldn't you say? That's right! You are Samuel M. Jackson! No! I'm Samuel L. Jackson. What are you talking about? Samuel M. Jackson? You just said that. No, my name is Samuel L. Jackson. Sammy W. Jackson? What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? God, even I'm starting to doubt this shit now. It's okay, Samuel 17 Jackson. We all go through identity crises every now and then. No, I'm not Samuel 18 Jackson. I'm not Samuel 19 Jackson. I'm not even Samuel 20 Jackson. No, but what am I? Samuel A. Jackson? S -S -S Samuel Z. Jackson? Oh, oh, Samuel Ford Motor Company Jackson? <gasps> Who am I? Oh, 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 oh. Jeez, what the hell is Samuel L. Jackson's problem? This is gonna go, this is gonna go over great on TMZ. Man, I better go report this to TMZ. My goodness gracious. Oh. So now you understand. Who's the one that made me forget my identity? That son of a fucking bitch. But in the flashback, you were saying that you were Samuel L. Jackson. So, aren't you aware of the fact that you're Samuel L. Jackson? No, no, I'm not Samuel L. Jackson. I'm not Samuel K. Jackson. I'm not Samuel 85,000 Jackson. I don't know who I am anymore. Who am I? Damn you, Pooh! Why? Why have you done this to me? All I wanted to know was my name! And you just had to come in and ruin everything! Ah! I don't even know why I bother these days. Man, this show fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> who am I? Who am I? I don't know who I am. Oh, why? Why? Damn you, Pooh! Why? Oh, why have you made me forget who I am? Oh, dude, so so fucked up, man. No. Uh, so fucked up. Oh, man. All these years, all this confusion. Am I Samuel Teddy Grahams Jackson? Man, am I Samuel Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Jackson? I don't know. Ah, I just don't know. It's so sad, dude. Oh. Hey, Samuel M. Jackson, what are you doing? No, that's not my name! That's not my name! The hell was that? Sounds like an earthquake. You better get off the San Andreas Fault, Samuel M. Jackson. 
No! That's not my fucking name! That's not my name! That's not my name! That's not my name! <laughs> Samuel, you're destabilizing the San Andreas Fault! You gotta stop doing that! No, I'm not Samuel M. fucking Jackson! I don't know who I am, damn it! Don't you see? Don't you see? I don't know who I am anymore! Why can't the world just swallow me up and take me out of this miserable life? God! Samuel, you... Okay, fuck that. I'm not gonna get through to him, so there's no point in trying. Damn you, Pooh! Damn you! Damn you! Damn you! Up. Hold on Don't be scared You'll never change what's been and gone May your smile 